There are a few people that need a special mention and thanks. Uh, Rob and Liv, Kim Miller and Gus, Graham and Sean Kirkpatrick who have all traveled to be here. Thank you very much. There are also a number of people who were there for mum when the family couldn't be. Kelly Fenning, Cammy, Simon, Mitchy, and Amy. We send deep thanks to you for, your de for dedicating time to Charles. I'd also like to thank my friend Paul Kavensky for helping facilitate this afternoon. You've been a true gentleman. You know, the one role that not many people got to see was Charles the Granny, and it was possibly the role that she did best. The joy that she expressed at the birth of her first two grandchildren, Marek and Mila, she displayed, she displayed such pride in them growing up. To see Marek become capped as a springbok polo player, and watching Mila play water polo for Western Province. Mum also got to spend special times with Jessica and Joshua, her step grandchildren of 17 years, teaching them how to play poker and being the ringleader for all things naughty. The simple and uncomplicated times that she spent with the twins, Isla and Helena. Mum treasured her endless hours of colouring in, dressing dolls, and playing games on the floor, all whilst being pretty ill. Those will be our lasting memories of Shah. Please raise your glasses and join Pavel and I in proposing a toast to the colourful life of Shah, the loving mother, the loyal friend, and the doting granny. Pavel has one thing to say. Okay, you know. Cheers. Well, cheers. 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 I wasn't going to say anything, but and uh, but I. I'm not going to let it be somber. So sit down, chill out. Um, I need two thank yous. Um, but I'm going to tell you two stories first. And uh, I think if you read into these stories, you'll really understand the mother we had. First story, junior school, Grove Primary. Uh, Debbie was actually there uh, as the head cheerleader from the other house. I was a cheerleader for the, the Troy house. And Garth was actually captain, and he was quite an athlete, so he was running around, and I would just had the pom pom. So it was quite a big event. So it was red, yellow, green, and blue, and having a hell of a day, and all, all too wonderful. And out the corner of my eye, I saw the yellow combi coming around the corner onto the pavement. Out got Charlie, mini skirt, high heels, fag in the mouth, bottle of vodka, and I went. Fuck. <laughs> There's a mother's race. And I, I went, no, oh, no, 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 this is not going to happen. So I did my good duty, I dumped the pom-poms, I ran and I dived under the grandstand of our house. And I peeked through to watch, it could have been the female version of Mick Jagger across the polo field, <laughs> the athletics field, and arrived at the stop. And off the mother's went. She still had her high heels and stockings. She came third, but protested so radically, with so much vulgar, and so much hysteria, that the mom who came first gave her the prize, and told her she came first. But the, the funniest thing is, as she took off, I'm lying under this grandstand going, oh, it's got, it's got to end, it's got to end. In comes Turbo Force, my brother, dives under the grandson, we just look at each other going, this is not going to end well. <laughs> and I think I started under a grandstand panicking about my mom's antics. And there are some horrific stories that Aunt Ezra Mantle gets at. Um, but to put it into true perspective, the only other time I met her at school, I had had an incident and... Uh, I, we won't go into it. Okay, we should go into it. No, we won't. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be happy to tell you later. <laughs> it was actually quite a big incident, and I was called to the headmaster's office for expulsion. Um, and some boy had hurt himself by falling. <laughs> and I'll never forget. And it is something that all of us as parents need to learn and know, and some of you too. As I arrived to the headmaster's office, I came up the stairs, and there my mother was standing. And she just looked at me and she said, are you guilty? And I said, Mom, I promise you I'm not. She turned around, walked straight into the headmaster's office, 
and what came out of her mouth <laughs> at this poor man who went to therapy after that. <laughs> if you think my son would do anything wrong, that beautiful defense, that trust, that loyalty, and the protection I got with one word, I promise you not, was quite something. Um, so, in between that, a lot of cray cray, a lot of nonsense, a lot of sadness, um, but a wonderful woman, nevertheless. Two thank yous. I need to thank my wife, who I met at 17, and Charlene spent 25 good years trying to make sure that we were not together. <laughs> and I. <laughs> Watching you make organic food and take it to her and actually feed her in the last week broke my heart. How you stuck it out and how you just were so amazing, even to a woman that gave you such a hard time. I love you. <laughs> We're taking the last time to you. I have a child together, which is going to be even as difficult, is sometimes Shah kind of slipped up on a mom rolls and she gave us her sister, who was the most phenomenal sister to have, the most incredible aunt, and a role model where my mom couldn't be, to Robin Love, Natalie and I owe you a lot. Thank you very much. Charlie.